All right, going to make a video just exposing this really blasphemous Roman Catholic uh, statue and carving of putting Mary on the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah, I'm not making that up. But then Catholics will just try so hard to say, we don't worship Mary, we don't worship Mary. Well, they're literally, literally putting her on the Ark of the Covenant. You know, busy booting God off the Ark of the Covenant and putting Mary on it. I mean, just here's the images. The images speak for themselves. Here's the first image. In this case, you have basically Mary sitting on the ark with the two cherubs, you know, essentially bowing down before her. But they don't worship Mary, but they're basically booting God the Father off his place on the ark and putting Mary on there. You know, yeah, you know, and they, and they still claim we don't worship Mary. Yeah, they do. Roman Catholics do, in fact, worship Mary. Here's the next image, different angle, but same sculpture, same blasphemous, I guess, statue or whatever. Uh, again, you got the cherubs, then you got Mary taking the place of Jehovah on the ark. Then here's the other picture, again, of the same blasphemous statue, but this time you have them performing their pagan uh, mass ritual, which makes sense because all they're doing is just burning incense to the Queen of Heaven, which is exactly who the Roman Catholic Mary is. But again, they have Mary on the ark with the two cherubs, you know, bowing down to her and worshiping her, basically. It's that simple. And why is this blasphemous, you say? Well, because not only is this completely idolatrous and just the same mother goddess worship condemned in Jeremiah chapter 44, I believe it's verses 17 down to verse 25. Uh, the simple fact is scriptural. It shows that Catholics have zero understanding of the scriptural uh, meaning of the Ark of the Covenant, you know, under the Old Testament. Because under the New Testament, we don't have an Ark. Uh, Jesus Christ is our high priest. Jesus Christ is essentially our Ark, uh, when you want, if you want to break, break it down to that. Uh, Jesus Christ is sufficient. Uh, we can have direct access to God through Jesus Christ. We don't need a high priest to go onto the ark and, you know, uh, talk to God. We can talk directly to God through Jesus Christ. He's our mediator. Uh, 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 5. Not Mary. You know, it's that simple. But here's why it's blasphemous. Because the Ark of the Covenant was located in the Holy of Holies uh, in the Old Testament tabernacle. It was the place where God's presence dwelt. Okay? Exodus chapter 25, verse number 22. And there I will meet with thee, and I will commune with thee from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubims, which are, are upon the ark of the testimony of all things, which I will give thee in commandment unto the children of Israel. But there we see Mary is between those, those two cherubs in the ark of the covenant. But again, God's saying that's where he is. So Mary is basically replacing Jehovah God on the ark. That's why it's blasphemous. Uh, another scripture on the matter, Exodus chapter 30, verse 6. And thou shalt put it before the veil that is by the ark, ark of the, of the testimony, before the mercy seat that is over the authority, where I will meet with thee. Again, the high priest would go there and, and meet with God at the ark before the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, where back then they could not have direct access to God through Christ like we have today as New Testament saints. Leviticus chapter 16, verse 2. And this is something too that Roman Catholics have no concept of because they don't believe essentially in the, the sole mediation of Jesus Christ. They think you have to go through Mary and the saints and they'll kind of, they'll kind of give lip service to it. But really when you get down to it, they don't believe that you can talk directly to God just through Jesus Christ. You have to go through the, the saints and through Mary, you know, they'll kind of give lip service to denying that. But that's when you get down to the facts of the matter. Leviticus chapter 16, verse two, and the Lord said unto Moses, speak unto Aaron, thy brother, that he come not at all time, not at all times into the holy place within the veil before the mercy seat, which is upon the ark that he die not for I will appear in the cloud upon the mercy seat. Okay. God, not Mary is on the mercy seat, but see Roman Catholics with their blasphemous, uh, you know, goddess worship of, of the, the Babylonian queen of heaven. They boot God off of his, off of his, uh, mercy seat in the ark of the covenant, plain and simple. Uh, some other scriptures on the matter of the Ark of the Covenant being where God dwelt in between those two cherubims. I'll, I'll, I'll just point that out as well. Uh, include 2 Kings chapter 19, verse 15, 1 Samuel chapter 4, verse 4, 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 2, and Numbers chapter 7, verse 89. Okay, All show that it's where God dwelt. But then putting Mary there is just, again, goddess worship. But the bottom line is, is that just like Revelation 17, verse one the six talks about Roman Catholicism is full of names of blasphemy, not just by stealing God's titles and, and the popes giving it to themselves, but also just this this blasphemous uh, booting of God off his throne, uh, not only on the ark, but also those paintings of, of it in heaven as well. 
and giving it to their goddess Mary. Roman Catholicism is blasphemy and an abomination to God, plain and simple. Don't be deceived by the Catholic cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.